Dallas came to Ike's right here in the Bureau of Florida. And uh, so, how did you get involved in uh, Black Star Whiskey? Black Star Whiskey, uh, that's about Wade, my friend Wade. Uh, we got together with uh, uh, Jamie here. Yes, uh, we got to Jamie. I'll play a bunch of bands here. Last year, I was in Tour of Circle Circle pretty much the entire year. And now you play in the Circle Circle, of course, with Johnny Osborne. And right. And Johnny Osborne is also right. the drummer in Black Star Whiskey. Right? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, Johnny and me, we are old friends, and we spend all of, half all of life's music wise together. So we get together on Black Star Whiskey and kept Joe on the boat. So we have a big family here tattoos, rock and roll, Black Star Whiskey. How cool is that? We'll spread all over the world pretty soon. Yeah, definitely. And so, uh, you guys uh, have any uh, gigs coming up? You plan on doing it? Actually, uh, right now we're working on our first full production. And we don't want to turn it into a bar band. Uh, we looking for the big fish. We're experiencing that. <laughs> Want to go uh, have the section ready and go to the industry and want to jump on some big tours. Very, very cool. And I see you've also gotten, gotten into the tattoo game a little, uh, a little yourself. That's right, yeah. When I you guess were, you were on uh, Hellraiser Bull the last time with Black Star Whiskey, you were telling me that's right. uh, something that you were working on on your own. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I'm start learning a little bit. I put some here, put something on my leg. There's a week that comes along. You can't be mine, it's free. There you go. So, um, uh, you played in uh, Servant Circle. You, all, you also uh, have, a, have a history with Dr. Joe. You had another band over in Germany, correct? Uh, we had a band called Kick Hunter, uh, a German southern rock band. We were kind of successful quite a bit. We went on tour with Lance Skinner, you know, Chicago, and made a lot of appearance on the big stages and that's you know, if you taste that lot at the big stage you never want to go back to that. Yeah, you never want to go back and just play in the small stage. It's cool though. It's, it's, it's cool though. I, I mean I love when, when I moved over here and met all these wonderful people here in St. Petersburg, which great music scene. I really fall in love with the whole music scene here and I play since then I play with a couple of bands here and there almost every weekend. It's a, it's a wonderful place here to be to live rock and roll. Yeah. And Everybody now, now you will see that you play a local cover band called uh, Den of Thieves. Tell That's us right. About that. uh, Den of Thieves oh, is a cover yeah. band that plays local and year round. Um, we got a bunch of awards from the Tampa Bay Music Network from uh, the famous Victor Lima. I hope he's watching right now. Yeah, I think they can probably watch. In fact, I think that he has spoken to Victor over the weekend. He said that he was thinking about coming down here tonight. Right. Uh, so far, he's in my name, but you, know, you never know. He could just pop up. I hope so. Yeah, so they owe me money. <laughs> so then we definitely, you know what, let's get them on the phone in a couple of minutes. Let's All right, let's cool. pick up Good idea. Tell them to get his ass down here to uh, skin Dr. tattoo. Hey, All right. You know, oh, we have, you, or, we, have, we have somebody, uh, like we have somebody who has, <laughs> we have Wade here, the former and singer of Black Star Whiskey. <laughs> former? <laughs> former and current singer of Black Star Whiskey. No, 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 no. The, pound, the founder. The founder of uh, Black Star Whiskey. He got lost and I found it. Yeah. yeah bro. Wait, was this working? Yeah, that was working too. Mm -hmm. So, did you Yeah, it's on. Uh, it's on? Uh, it's on. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. The, head, the headphones are right there for one person. I'm alright, how are you doing? I'm doing Good great. to see you again, bro. Yeah, same here, it's always a pleasure. Yeah, always. Yeah, it's new. Uh, nothing much, I'm just hanging out over here at Skin Doctor's Tattoo. Yeah, look at that. Checking out Julie getting ink. Absolutely. With the Hellraiser's Ball Tattoo. And, uh, yeah, actually, I'm getting a phone call. I'm running out of oh, space. Who's calling out? Who's calling out? Who's calling out? Who's calling out? I got it, guys. No, actually, this is uh, Richard Bolak from uh, from the band The Water Walkers. I don't know if he's actually. Uh, let's see. Well, I can put him up to the mic, can I? Uh, we'll call him back in a little bit. How's that feeling? Not bad. Not bad. Still early. <laughs> Still early. You're right. Is that I can take it. I think she's a pro. Yeah, I think she's I a like pro. I like to take it this one. I think she's got a little experience. Anybody that wants to get a Black Star Whiskey tattoo should come on down and get to uh, Yeah, we're going to stamp something. <laughs> Do we have a volunteer yet? Right there. Anybody come in? Where's Medicine Man? 
Yeah. Okay, let's get Medicine Man on here and uh. Where's Medicine Man? Get him inked up. Medicine Man, get in here, brother. Cool. Hey, you now uh, you we're gonna ink him up. You huh? wrote online that not only do they get the tattoo, but yeah. they get like uh, three backstage passes like for life. All they gotta do is show that tattoo anywhere we play and, and bring him right back. That is so okay, kick ass. It's like yeah. a smorgasbord. <laughs> there you go. Ticket. <laughs> Yeah, so what are you people waiting for? Get down and get a single tattoo. Over here, bro. Hi, here come on. Fourteen nine nine five. Yeah, take this. So here we go. We got medicine, man. You want? To... I know. I'm trying to hold that beer, bro. <laughs> <laughs> beer, bro. I know. Even that big uh, mushroom Swiss burger. Oh, that was awesome next door at the Toppy Deck. Yeah, 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 that and the Bud Light. What yeah. kind of mushrooms? Great I don't think there was like any hallucinated mushrooms yet, but no. No. I guess it takes a while for those things to kick in. Yeah, that'll be easy. Now we're kicking. <laughs> <laughs> now they're kicking. Yeah. Yeah. I know, burps are cool. It's always fun, you know. Well, everybody loves flashing. Everybody's like flashing, yeah. but somebody <laughs> told me, like, burps. Well, except when you're, you know. Yeah. Doing the deep. Yeah, yeah, my that's, that's my sister-in-law is dad. Yeah. He's like your grandfather. He says, he says anytime you burp, you know, Alex, you mean, you just wasted a good part, you know. Who <laughs> <laughs> said that? Your uncle? Uh, no, uh, my, my my grandfather, uh, my, my uh, uncle, or uh, my sister was father. You know, I don't know how they do with the family tree. I can't get anything organized right. Yeah. And I can't, you know, keep the leaves on the tree to track it, you know, because I don't smoke any of it anyway. But, <laughs> <laughs> So it's just all good, man. I've got a good family there, you know, it's fun like that. You know, me being on Tampa Bay's one or two point five of the bone, you know, you know, it was Tampa Bay's press rock, now all talk. Now it's all talk. talk how, how the hell did that happen? Uh, just no reaction. It's just action. Uh, just they want to be the first FM station in the nation to be all talk radio, I guess. Oh, okay. Maybe yeah. Race ball if you get on to one Yeah. Of one that means Cowhead has to get dig up more material yeah. now. <laughs> They don't have to take, now they have that shorter bathroom breaks now. Oh, Instead yeah. of playing the music, you know, they got to be back in the studio during the commercial break. Wait, which is a lot shorter than that four or five minute song, you know? Very, very true. Yeah. So they got, they can tell, take a whiz, but taking a number two would be kind of brutal for them anyway. Yeah, well, at least you can't see what they're Yeah, but they will probably, you know, <laughs> if, if they do a quick one, they probably blow up. Well, we got brain. a philosophy bag. <laughs> yeah. You know. It'd be like an earthquake hits down the 4th Street Gandy area in St. Pete. <laughs> yeah, very cool. Yeah. So we heard some uh, Black Star Whiskey earlier. Uh, have you uh, listened to uh, any of the songs on the Black Star Whiskey? Yeah, actually, yeah, they're all good. I actually have this first CD of his, and more of the advanced pressing. It sounds really good. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, rock and roll. yeah it's called Kick Off Rock and Roll from Tampa area, which a lot of home brew metal bands, you know, I know back in the day, you know, form here, including, you know, Sabotage, Nancy Savage, and Cut Stranger, and many others, too, you know. Oh, yeah. And I did friends with John Lee back yeah, in the day, way. too. I remember he slammed Corden and Vodka with him back in the day, too. And he was skinny back then, now look at him. <laughs> Actually, he's, big and hard. he's a big guy and he's big and hard, too. You know, a really nice guy, John yeah. Lee. Oh, he, he is absolutely yeah. awesome. He used to call me Magic Alex years ago. Yeah, I, I, I've heard that story. Yeah, because I used to go to yeah. Magic Stuff years ago. Yeah, you were the, uh, the Magic Man. So yeah. You go all the way back to the Brandon days. Yeah, the right? old Brandon days, the old the bands we had formed in the area, you know. We still got them rolling around, like, of course, the picture, and Nancy Savage. is still around. Believe it or not, oh, uh, the other side is still. Yeah, Ronnie, I mean, Nancy Ronnie still lives here. Yeah. I mean, back in the day, she smashed TVs and wear the frames of the picture uh, tubes on it. And yeah, you know, uh, it does it. The funny thing is, Ronnie Galletti, uh, Nancy Ronnie, and uh, John Levo are huge influences. Very good friends. Friend. Yeah, I remember yeah. Bands Halifax and when Ron Galetti was smashing the, oh, or slicing yeah. up his face with his. Yeah, I, uh, have to, I actually spoke. Uh, you know, I, I wanted to wait to actually yeah, have him on the air one day to tell the story. But I actually spoke to him on the radio like back in like 1985 or 1986. Yeah. He, uh, he was yes. on a, a radio station out of Long Island, a uh, college radio station called CW Post. Wow. And I called up and I was uh, singing in a band called Serpent. Yeah. And uh, I called up and I asked them for any advice and stuff like that. So it would be kind of fun to actually be able to, you know, tell them the story on the air and talk to them about it and actually play the interview. Yeah. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. You know? I know, I'm up a kid up. Yeah, that would be great. If you, could, if you could make that happen, that would be like a... Definitely a dream come true for me. For sure. Like, JC, yeah, so we have a special introduction. Right now we have our new bass player here in the in the in the shop in the tattoo shop in the studio. I don't well, know. Do what Mr. Dave Walgren. He's all linked up too. Oh, the yeah. Dave got it. Dave got a hold of me, man. 
<laughs> All right, very cool. We have Dave yeah. here. The new bass player of Next Up with So we're going to have yeah. Dave uh, sit down a little bit and we're going to talk to him uh, yeah. about oh, some of his yeah. influences as a bass player. Yeah. yeah. Bring it in. So uh, take, take the mic uh, for a second. All right, here we'll, it we'll is. We're going to talking to Medicine Man in just a little bit. Medicine Man is epic, man. So how you doing, guys, Dave? I'm living, brother. Yeah, they, you know, that's all we can do. Just live and breathe and yeah. get ink. Right here, yeah, I man. Skin Doctor's tattoo in the Deer Beach, Florida. How's that feeling, Joy? Not bad at all. So not bad? Nope. I'm light-handed. He is light-handed. He's 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 I had met Wade. Everybody yeah, showed me the best well, show we did. Yeah, everybody flowed yeah. I really believe yeah. in what the guy was doing, you know what I mean? Everything. Uh, yeah. Great music, outside. you know, the guy yeah. had a heart of gold. Willing to help shirt. anybody out, you know. It's, you get playing with all these bands, you know. And but do life, but life, everything just so simple, you know what I mean? Just cool out there. Nothing makes sense. This makes sense to me. I yeah, that I really I'm enjoy, you know, it, you know what I mean? Just saying, yeah. we're just yeah. playing with people all the time, just like get satisfaction on it. Can I tell us a little bit about uh, your influence as a bass player? Who's like your primary influence? Oh my god, I... I have They're probably so real fast, right? Oh, like, yeah. like mine. Big time. I love Sheehan, you know. I oh, love Sheehan, you know. I always love Sheehan. I've seen two him play York. with uh, with uh, Steve Vai. Oh yeah. And that was one of the best concepts I've ever seen. Yeah. He's, he's a amazing. humble dude, yeah. He's a nice guy. Yeah. So who else uh, is in the I've always loved Geese of Color. Oh yeah, Black Yeah, Bob Daisley. Yeah, Bob Daisley. Yeah. Bob Daisley. Yeah. Just, there's just so many bass people out there, you know, that I, I really admire. My dad was a jazz drummer, so oh, I grew up with a lot of jazz. Hey, so you grew up in a musical family? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's that's cool. Cool. Yeah. 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 I was playing, I lived in New York City, like, in the early 80s, like, with uh, Ray West and Spread Eagle. Yeah, oh, very good. Yeah, I remember I was in the days. Yeah, way before the days. Yeah. Um, after that, I moved here, like, in 91. Okay. And, you know, basically got into, like, tricky things, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, it's fun, you know, playing, but it's just, it's, it's nothing original. You know? Right, it's not, it's just not the same. Yeah. It's not the same. When you're up on stage and you're playing an original song, you got people out in the audience that are just like grooving to what you're doing and singing the words back and singing the lyrics back to you. I mean, Roy, it's, it's, you can Roy, not, there's no you can't duplicate that feeling. I mean, there's nothing like that in the whole world. I don't care whether you're on like uh, on top of oh, the tallest you know mountain or the highest yeah. skyscraper, <laughs> oh, okay. nothing <laughs> can actually be so high yeah. of playing your Sorry. own songs in front of a large crowd it's and having right. right. people, you know, sounds like all of them. Sounds like all of them. Yeah, the very basis around here. Well, I have a set of very strings, but now I have a lot of songs. I can, you know what I mean? I can do all the local things, you know? I like performing. Right. The more people like the form of board, the better I like it. There you go. It's an end of town at home. Yeah. With Black Soul with me. And you got some professional touring musicians. You guys are ready to take it on the road. Yeah. Bring it to a whole different level. It's always easy to work with the guys. You know, I just think this comes so together so quick. You know? Oh, yeah. So, I know uh, my experience is that sometimes we get together with certain people and, uh, you know, it can take months just to get a couple of tracks down. You know, if there's no chemistry. But if you got the right band and the right material, things could just click so fast. And I know, like, even like uh, I was in a band uh, back in New York City at the late 80s, early 90s called American Track. And um, we literally pulled their equipment out of another studio and brought it into my basement. And before it was even set up, we already had started writing the first song. And I think it took about 40 minutes to an hour to write a song that I already have lyrics for, called Take Me Down. And we had the first five songs in three weeks. 